what is now a full-blown environmental catastrophe in the Gulf and mounting outrage over the continuing oil leak now coating a huge stretch of Louisiana's coastline and threatening the region's wildlife. As officials search for a way, any way, to stop the leak, scrutiny has fallen on the company that owns the well, BP. Today, Jeffrey Kaufman had an exclusive interview with the company's CEO, Tony Haywood, a man on the hot seat at a critical moment. For a month, Louisiana waited and hoped that the oil slick would stay offshore. But now the waiting is over, the hope dashed, the oil is here. With more than 65 miles of Louisiana coastline now covered in a copper-colored goo, cleanup crews cannot possibly stay ahead of it. On this oil-covered coast, there is now a sense of frustration, of urgency. Let's be clear. Every day that this oil sits and waits for cleanup is one more day that more of our marsh dies. Conservationists shot this underwater video that shows the oil permeating the water from 5 to 50 feet. Just a few months ago, Louisiana's state bird, the brown pelican, was removed from the endangered list. Now it is very much in danger. And until recently, Katrina was a common curse word here, as in Hurricane Katrina. Now they use BP. It stands for beyond patience. What we need to tell BP is excuses don't count anymore. At the center of it all, this man, the British boss of BP, CEO Tony Hayward. Today, ABC was given exclusive access to him as he toured the oil-covered coast. It is quickly apparent that he is British to the core. We're going to fight it, subsea, on the surface, and on the shore. You, you, it sounds like you're, ref, you're referring to, to Churchill, who I know you like to quote. I believe we're fighting a battle, and uh, I think it's the appropriate res uh, approach. So, absolutely, we're going to fight it in the subsea, on the surface, and on the shore. And, you know, we will prevail, ultimately. After we landed in Grand Isle, we drove with Hayward to see the oil up close. One of the things that, that I find so difficult to understand in all of this is your, your company made a profit of $6.4 billion in the first three months of this year. Wasn't there somebody sitting around in, in this vast company saying, gee, you know, we have a lot of money at hand and we're doing this very risky drilling deep at sea. Shouldn't we have a contingency plan? We believe that we had a contingency plan. We believe we had a fail-safe piece of equipment and we believe we had the uh, wherewithal to deal with it. Now, it's clear that, with the benefit of hindsight, there are some things that we need to do much more of going forward. Knowing that 11 men died, that men jumped for their lives nine, ten stories into a burning sea, and now that your company has unleashed what may be one of the worst, if not the worst, ecological disaster American history. I feel great sorrow for all of this. I'm sorry about the people who lost their lives. I'm sorry about the impact it's having on the Gulf Coast, on the, on the communities and societies, and I'm sorry about the environmental impact. And we're going to do everything in our power to restore this part of the world to normal as soon as we possibly can. Half an hour later, the boss Hello, arrives boss. at the beach. Friend. One of the challenges is we've got is we've got all these resources and getting them to the place where they need to be oh, as fast as we can. That's your oil. I oh, know. I'm gutted. I'm absolutely devastated. It's something I never wanted to see. It's something we fought really hard not to have happen. The reason I'm here is to see if we can find a better way of preventing oil getting to the shore, which is about how do we deploy the enormous resources we have here more effectively. Now, now you, you have said in recent weeks and recent days that, that the Gulf is a very big ocean that can handle this and, and you believe the environmental damage is going to be very, very modest. When you see this, do you still feel that way? I said that in the context of about a week ago when at that time we were being successful in keeping the oil off the shore. Clearly, uh, the defences of the shore have been breached. And that's clearly not the case. This is a major environmental issue which we now need to deal with. When you say issue, is that another word for catastrophe? 
I, I don't know whether we can call it a catastrophe. Some people may. I think it's. Uh, we're going to. What I what I can say is that we are going to do everything in our power to prevent it from being a catastrophe. It's clearly a marathon. We are here for the marathon. And five weeks after the explosion, it is clear the marathon has just begun. I'm Jeffrey Kaufman for Nightline on Fushan Beach, Louisiana.